So in last week's episode, we talked about the demolition, the prep, and everything that's getting ready to build a pool. And we walked, we talked about, and I showed you guys the excavation process. Well, this week is amazing. Let me tell you what's going to be happening next. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. If it's your first time here, welcome, of course. And to all my longtime subscribers, welcome back, guys. Now listen, as I said in the intro, guys, last week was awesome. It was the beginning of my pool project and we had the demolition. I talked to you guys about the trees that had to be removed, the patio that had to be demoed, and we actually started the excavations. The guys came in with their bobcats and their backhoes and dug a nice hole in my backyard. And of course, they finished up the excavation by putting up the formwork to frame up the pool and getting it ready for the next process, which this week is going to be epic. So in this week, what we can expect is we're going to finish up any formwork that needs to be done. They're going to start putting in the waterproofing and the membrane along with the rebar and the underground main piping for the underground main drains. This week is action packed. They did a lot of work this week despite the rain, but nonetheless, let me stop talking and I'll show you guys exactly what happened this week. Let's get at it. So of course, guys, the crews were back at it again this week and of course it was raining and they picked up right where they left off from last week with the formwork for the pool. They just had a few finishing touches to complete in the preparation for the next stage. So in preparation for the next step, the pool main drain and the spa main drains had to be done. But once they were able to get this process done, they were ready to move on to the next step, which for me is the coolest part. Um, and listen, I have to mention though that once again, the rain was relentless. The crew spent a lot of time pumping out the excess water that would build up as they were trying to work. And to be honest, this seemed never ending. I don't know what happened or why the rain decided, but it was pretty bad these, the first two weeks. As soon as they would progress, they would have to take time and pause and pump out the water and rinse and repeat. Anyway, we were able to get enough of a dry spell that they could complete the formwork and the main drains for the pool. Now listen, once that was done, the guys began to install the waterproofing barrier that would serve as the backing for the shot creek. You'll see them putting this paper looking thing up and that's pretty much what it is. Um, the felt that you see them unrolling is a membrane which serves basically, it's pretty much like an outer shell of the pool. And um, basically they use it to wrap the pool. And once all the membrane was put in place, the crew were able to put up the plywood form for the waterfall feature in the pool. This was, um, this was an addition that my wife and I wanted and we thought it would add some, you know, uh, a cool feature to the pool, having a little waterfall wall. And, and it was something that we were proud of. We went back and forth with this idea for a long time, but finally decided on how we wanted it to look. If you guys enjoyed the time lapse um, and the content, don't forget to hit that like button and leave your comments below if there are any features that you think are must-haves in a pool. Also, as usual, I will leave links in the description for the pool contractor I used and the promo code that you can use to get a discount if you are interested in having a pool built. So listen, so now once the membrane, um, once the membrane, the main drains and the formwork was all complete, the crew moved on to the next step, which was installing the structural steel or rebar. And although the guys made this look easy, this is pretty much an integral step in the pool construction since this is what gives the pool its stability and resistance to cracking. As you can see, the rebar basically goes along the entire perimeter of the pool, including the floors, walls, spa, tanning deck, and of course the steps. At the same time, the guys were also doing rebar. They were also starting to working on the plumbing for the spa, installing all the piping that will be included in the spa, including the piping for the jets, the drains, and the lights. All of this has to be done, obviously, prior to shooting the shot creek because you gotta run these pipes inside the wall and this is the time to get it done. Um, and once all this plumbing is complete, they obviously have to pressure test the lines. You'll see gauges on the lines here. Um, and they need to pressure test it to make sure there's no leaks. I definitely don't need to tell you how important it is to have no leaks. You get the point. So they basically double check the pressures to make sure the lines were leak free and we would be able to get ready for the next step. 
guys another week down and the main drain spa plumbing waterproofing membrane and rebar has been completed and the pool is starting to take shape we're actually starting to get excited at this point because we could actually see the shape coming together. Unfortunately, I wish I had more detailed video on this, but unfortunately, this is the time we act, my wife and my family actually decided to go on vacation. So these last two weeks, we were actually out of town and I was a little nervous that my uh, security camera that I had set up wasn't going to capture all the footage. Seemed to do a pretty good job. In future videos, in the next set, once we're back from vacation, you're going to have a lot more in-depth and close-up of the actual process and how the pool begins to take shape. But apart from that, we are pretty much excited now at this point because we could actually see the shape coming together. So that brings this week to a close. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and I hope you enjoyed this week's recap. And stay tuned for what happens next week. Just to give you an idea, it's going to be the shot crete, which will make the, and then the pool will definitely start looking like it's taking shape. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the pool build. Until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next one.